Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a general two-step equation. Now from previous videos we saw that the strategy to solve an equation like this is to undo the last thing done to the variable and by the variable I effectively mean the letter that we want to find the value of. And to solve this equation, by the way, means we want to find out what's the value of x. If we did 11 plus 4 times some unknown value and that gave us 3, what is the value of x? That's what it means to solve the equation. And remember also, with equations like this, these are equations because they have equals in them, it's a balancing act. So whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the same to the other. So if we add 3 to one side of the equation, we have to add 3 to the other side to keep it balanced. So let's think of the story of what's happening to x. Well, x is being multiplied by 4, and then we added 11 to it. The last thing we did was add 11. And we want to undo the last thing done to the variable. So we do the opposite of adding 11, which is to subtract 11 from both sides. I like to put what I'm doing to each side of the equation in brackets and put that on the arrows. But you don't have to do it that way. So on the left-hand side, 3 minus 11 is going to be negative, it's minus 8. And when we subtract 11 from the left-hand side, because these two things are being added together, when we subtract the 11, it gets rid of that plus 11, leaving just the 4x. And again, we undo the last thing done to the variable, to x in this case. x is being multiplied by 4. We want to undo that times by 4. The opposite of times by 4 is dividing by 4. So when we divide minus 8 by 4, negative divided by positive is negative, so it's negative 2, because 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 4x divided by 4, the divide by 4 just cancels out the times by 4, leaving just x. So x is minus 2. And sometimes people prefer to write the x on the left-hand side of the end, so you could write x equals minus 2. But that's a perfectly acceptable answer. What about the second one? Well, let's think about the story of what's happening to y. It's been multiplied by 9, and then we're subtracting 2 from it. So we want to undo the last thing, which was subtracting 2, and the opposite of subtracting 2 is adding 2. So if we add 2 to the left-hand side of the equation, that gets rid of the minus 2, just leaving 9y. And if we add 2 to the right-hand side of the equation, we get 6. Now let's think about the last thing that happened to y. y was multiplied by 9. So we want to undo the multiply by 9, which is to divide both sides by 9. So dividing the left-hand side by 9 just gets rid of that 9, leaving just y. And then on the right-hand side, we've got 6 divided by 9, which we can write just as a fraction, 6 over 9. The 6 has been divided by 9. And then we should probably simplify that fraction. 6 ninths, we could divide top and bottom of that fraction by 3 to get 2 thirds. In algebra, it's always best to give your answer in fractional form rather than decimal form. And certainly in algebra, never give your answers as either rounded decimals or recurring decimals. That would be bad.